Welcome to race day here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve. The grandstands are filling up nicely and there was a real buzz around the paddock this morning that today's race could be a cracker. It was a blistering lap time from Lewis Hamilton in qualifying yesterday. If he gets a clean start away from the grid today, he might be untouchable. There are a lot of variables that can cause a driver to be happy with the car one day to struggling with it the next. Track temperature, excessive tyre wear or a change of fuel load can all affect the feel of a car. He'll definitely be hoping that when the race gets underway, he's got the same balance as he enjoyed in qualifying. It was an excellent showing from the Red Bull team at the last race. They'll be hoping for a similar level of performance here again today. It was a good weekend for them. The car certainly looked to handle better than we've seen earlier in the season. They're bringing new upgrades this weekend too, which they'll hope will further improve performance. So hello guys and welcome to round seven of our Williams the Conqueror series. Today we are in Canada. And the last race, what can I say? What can I say about it, apart from another one of those races that, let's just forget about it, it didn't happen. Okay, Monaco was cancelled this year. Um, we should have two Canadas instead. Um, qualifying was a hell of a comeback. Totally messed up going into turn one. Really didn't think we'd recover it, and then ended up being three hundredths of a second behind Lewis so I'm really pumped that we've got enough pace here to really stick it to their mercs this time out um, so let's get these lights lit up these cars fired up and let's get over the last race Lewis with just a lot more traction on the X bit there than us. Oh, a little bit panicky. I think we are in for some rain as well. The track is looking a bit damp. So I think we're going to have some more rain coming at us. Why did he go so slow? But we're here at Canada. Canada is by far my most favourite circuit on the calendar. I've always loved it. Whoa, what is going on with the frame up there? It is pixelating something terrible. Sensing some glitches going on with F1 tonight. And I'm literally recording this straight off the back of the Monaco episode. Which, oh, this is going terrible, it's going from bad to worse. Um, which was, I'm um, calling them Mercedes hacks there, they were getting scared so they ditched me. And that sort of pixelized image coming down the straight here. I had that in qualifying as well. And I can't really explain why it's doing it. Obviously if you want to go there mate, you are having literally car's length and no more. But hopefully this should just be one of them races that we can just comfortably control. OK, 
car seems really nice just on the stock setup at Canada. Not changed any, I mean I very rarely do change anything to be completely honest anyway, but oh A nice sort of four and a half second lead there, Nico. Which just gives us a little bit of breathing space now to not panic too much and make any silly rash moves like driving into a wall there hopefully we can just like I say, we can just nurse this race this is usually the way that pixel coming down this straight is really starting to do my brain in well and truly Ooh. playing chicken with a wall of champions I might try at the moment with these tyres sitting the way they are I might try and extend this run a little bit longer Hamilton has got to have a problem. I mean, he has dropped so far back from Nico. That's unreal. Keep these lap times in the 115s. I don't think they're going to close us in him anyway. I think Vettel's going to probably pit this lap. And we're going to box to the end of this lap. Maybe we should have put it at the end of the last lap. 60% of our starting fuel remains. That's 60% of our starting fuel. Tires are starting to feel really dead, but... Having that extra bit of rubber at the end is going to really put some good stead to the end of the race. Now the freshest rubber on track. We, we know we've got the speed anyway, but we oh, call whiplash. A <laughs> hundred, so under an eighty, two hundred mile an hour down at forty. 
in lads, 2.3. We should come out comfortably still in the lead. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. And it's great to see at the moment teammate Bottas running up in third. I do love playing chicken with that wall when it pays off. Not so much when you get it wrong and you cream into it and write the car off and take the nose off. Because it's probably the worst point of the track to lose anything off the car because you've sort of furthest distance away from the pits, but it is one of them that is just when you get it and you, you sort of you can see how, you know, that, that millimetre away from the wall is a great feeling. Okay, in terms of fuel, our data suggests we have around half our initial load remaining. 50% fuel. Okay, so that's really just stupidity. So concentrating on putting it up to try and push for the last couple of laps. We probably just cost ourselves a race win. Like I said, it's a good job we had a reasonable lead. But boy, are we going to need to push these last few laps. To come out with four laps and really give it some. We're not going to be able to afford to be stuck behind. Anyone on track at all. So these guys are ready with that nose. Pressure's on now, guys. Vettel's taking the lead. We've got the fastest tire. We know we've by far the fastest car on the track. Which is just get this heat in which I think we might have just done <laughs> Cleanest overtakes. Just 
our break and self, he manages to get the move back. The keep his position, sorry. Don't hold us up. Team orders. Good boy. Six seconds in a lap and a half. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. stupidity there, I don't think, you know, we can really say anything other than that. It'll be one of those races that at the end of the season, if it costs us, if we don't get the championship, this will be one of them races that we'll definitely be blaming. I think to take an extra stop than everyone else, Still come in second. Even a lot worse. And a Williams 1-2. One, 1-2, two, uh, one, 2 2 3 Valtteri finally picking up the pieces. And it's great to see. Yeah, so I think this is definitely, definitely one of them races that we should have no doubt about done a lot the better. Today. It's Lewis Hamilton whose Mercedes but was just too strong for the opposition. It could have been it's ten times worse. For British driver. It really was a wonderful performance. And it puts us back on top of the driver's title. Level pegging points well, with Sebastian, but Please join us see next the extra time race wins. I think we probably had more wins now than Vettel. We must have to have jumped as I would have thought. Um, and what's that done to the constructors title? Ooh, Mercedes Ferrari level pegging. Red Bull, I think, uh, third place is definitely out of the picture for them. Um, I think we've pretty much guaranteed third place already. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how that one pans out. Um, but yeah guys, so uh, thank you for watching, um, I hope, hope you like it, please hit up that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at 1S Gaming and at 1S Gaming Extra, we've also got a uh, channel on Twitch, which is uh, 1S Gaming Extra, um, and then find us online at www.1sgaming.co.uk, thank you, bye bye!